sure, you hear about it all the time. People insuring various things for the weirdest reasons. Taylor Swift, for example, has her legs insured for $40 million. Apparently. But then there's others, including someone that has their tongue insured for $10 million. Why has someone done this? Well, there's a very good reason behind it. And that is what we are going to be discussing today. Hello! Welcome to Brain Spill, the laziest show on the internet. My name is Tank, and the man we're talking about today is this guy. That's the tongue that's insured for $10 million. He's not even a massive celebrity, so who is he? Today we are talking about a man called Gennaro Pellice. This man is hired by Costa Coffee with what I believe is one of the single best job titles I've ever seen. He is hired as a master of coffee. Yeah, put that on your job application in the future. So, want to know what a master of coffee is? Well, uh, <laughs> I found his LinkedIn profile so I can tell you exactly what it is. His way into the company was working for the founder, Sergio Costa, in 1993. He was only there for two months before going to university, but he returned in the year 1997 as a trainer. Clearly, he was taught the finer intricacies of coffee, even working with the then master of coffee, Mr. Gino Amasanti. He would then become a mentor and teach him everything he knew about coffee. Uh, hey, I, I like my coffee, but maybe not as much as someone who is called a master of coffee. As part of his training, they opened a coffee school in the basement of their current garden store, where Gennaro refined his coffee palette. After a number of years of taking in everything he could learn about the coffee, he would then soon become a mentor himself. The student becomes the master of coffee. Either that, or it's someone that has absolutely way too much time on their hands. Either way, you have to have a particularly good taste for you to be able to point out what coffee is what. And my god, if you spend so long drinking coffee, I bet he can see through space and time and basically just be connected with everything around you. Kind of like that Futurama episode. So, as of the date of making this video, he has been working with Costa Coffee for 25 years. So, your question might be, as a master of coffee, what do you do as your day-to-day -day job? Well, it's pretty simple, really. And if this was my job, I'd be pretty impressed with myself. To basically figure out if he feels that the coffee beans in the batches are suitable enough to be shipped out to the other Costa Coffee stores around the country. What he does is he takes a sample from every single batch that goes out to make sure that the bean and the blend is to that standard. The standard that only a coffee master can appreciate. So basically this guy gets paid to eat raw coffee beans all day. I don't know if he'll ever need a morning coffee when he can simply just go into work and start chowing down on some beans. This entire job is seemingly down to this one guy, meaning that you'd think that there would be some form of insurance in place just in case anything happened to him or his tongue that can taste just the right blend of coffee. Well, that is where this insurance comes into play. Therefore, his tongue has been insured for 10 million pounds. And yes, I know the title of the video says dollars, but everybody knows that internet money is USD. So there you go. The actual reality of the situation is that it is 10 million pounds, and that equals about 13 million dollars. So actually, you got some more bang for your buck there. So it's even a little bit more impressive than first meets the eye. That's how much they rely on that tongue. Just imagine being able to swagger around and say, this tongue, that is worth 10 million pounds. This insurance policy is taken out through the Lloyds of London insurance brokers. They must know how important this is to cost a coffee for them to agree to such a high amount for an insurance payment. That's a lot of dollary dues. Of course, having a job which relies on your taste buds, you have to be pretty careful to ensure that nothing happens to jeopardize that. Therefore, Gennaro tends to avoid eating spicy foods, doesn't smoke, or does anything that will have a significant impact on his tasting ability. All of which so he can taste the absolute finest qualities of coffee. And no, I ain't just saying that, that is their words. I'm not advocating for Costa or anything, but this story is pretty weird, so I thought it was a good video to make. It's not every day that you can insure your tongue for any reason, let alone for 10 million pounds. Like I said, I do like my coffee, but end of the day, 
I'm happy just to go for something easy and quick, like a bit of instant, which I know that's any coffee snobs out there are all going to roll your eyes at me. And uh, my answer to you is uh, get mad. You know, because I totally enjoy the stuff. It's not the fact that I can't afford anything more and basically drinking dishwater is the nicest I can get. So um, yeah. So clearly I probably wouldn't be the best candidate for a job like this. I just want the title. It sounds pretty nifty. My 18 years of experience enable me to distinguish between thousands of flavors. The taste buds of a master of coffee are as important as the vocal cords of a singer or the legs of a top model. And this is one of the biggest single insurance policies taken out for one person. In my profession, my taste buds and sensory skills are crucial and allow me to distinguish any defects. As a matter of fact, this guy is so good at his job, he's even able to travel the world and display skills for all to see. Basically, going around the world and sticking raw coffee beans in your mouth. Again, that sounds like a pretty good perk of the job. You know, the traveling around the world part, not sticking raw beans in your mouth. However, he is able to determine what constitutes that perfect cup of coffee. The man even says that it's not a talent, but years of hard work. I did my first espresso course at the roastery in Lambert in 1998 to 99. It was only then when I started to understand the vast spectrum of flavors that are in coffee. Before that day, it was just coffee to me, like for everyone else. So I wasn't born with any particular or different or fine-tuned taste, but I did train very hard, a lot at the beginning and I continue to do so now. It has allowed me to unlock the skills that I have now. From his words himself, it's not so much a talent as such, but he thinks it's a skill, a skill that you can hone with experience and time, and that is what is being ensured here. The fact that he and not many other people can probably do this. So yes, you could become a master of coffee, but it would take years of dedication. So basically, what you're telling me is if I walk into a Costa Coffee store, it is basically a dojo, and I can walk in and hone my craft at being a coffee master. Yo! Or, you know, failing that, I could always just walk into a Starbucks. <laughs> Either way. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to be notified as soon as I upload my next video, be sure to hit the bell button. And if you've got any ideas for what topics you'd like me to discuss next, let me know down in the comments below. As always, sources used in the video will be in the description. I'm here all week, people, to bash on every single coffee house that you know. Except the locals, of course, because they need our support. But the bigger brands, pff, yeah. Nah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stick to the good stuff, thanks. I'll see you guys in the next video. Fantastic.